Hey guys, today we're here interviewing Mehdi Madavi, who is a businessman, uh, husband, and father, and professor here at Trinity Valley Community College. And uh, we're here today just to get some perspective into how he succeeded in business and different areas in his life. And hopefully this will inspire you guys as much as talking to him inspires me. Okay, so we're here with Mr. Madavi. And so you're a business owner, correct? Yes, sir. And so um, just tell me about how you got started in business, how you got here. I came here in 1972. After going to Army, I went to McLean Community College for about two and a half years. Graduated there, then went to St. Houston State University, got my bachelor degree in chemistry. Then I went to Baylor University, I got my master's degree. I went to dental school two years, I went to some graduate school, and I started teaching in 1988 at Trinity Valley Community College. And so um, you came here from Iran, right? Yes, sir. So tell me a little bit about that, coming here, and some of the difficulties you had to face. Uh, my main difficulty, the language. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know English that good. It took me a while to know. Yeah. What are some things uh, financially you had to overcome in order to get to where you are today? Uh, when I came here, I put myself through a school. I worked at the same time I went to a school. One thing helped me, I worked for my dad for 10 years. Uh, he taught me the basic uh, business trade and hard working and how fun it is that you work for yourself. I work very hard. Sometimes there is a challenge, you overcome it. But each year, it becomes easy and easy and easy if you can hang on. But many people, after maybe five years, uh, they just burn up or they lose the interest or they just go out of the business. Uh, when I started the business, I had the vision. Uh, I started my business with $350. I knew that money is not the issue to become a businessman. If you have a good brain, if you have the integrity and work hard, you can make it. And I was even surprised myself that how easy it came to me. What I mean easy, I always worked hard. I never shied away from it. Even though at my age, some nights I go home late, the areas I go home every day is about 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock. But I love what I do. It's a passion for me. So, um, so how many businesses do you own now? Uh, I teach full time. I have a ranch and cows, animals. I have an electric car and sign company, and I am big time in real estate. What I mean big time, to me is the big time. If you compare me with Donald Trump, I am nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. Um, so uh, let's talk about uh, relationship stuff, because you, you said some things about relationships that you know I thought were interesting, and I think some people would find interesting as well. So tell me about uh, dating, meeting your wife, and how that worked for you and how you found success in your relationship? I always wanted to get married and have a family. I think for every good businessman or a woman, they should have a good wife or good husband. It goes hand to hand. When we got married, I didn't have nothing, she didn't have nothing. I think we had $300 maybe in our name. And where'd you, where'd you go for your, uh, your honeymoon? Uh, the honeymoon, <laughs> I went to the cheapest hotel in Waco. There you go. And I went, I think, Motor 6. And now, now she just took a trip somewhere, didn't she? Yeah, right now we can go anywhere we want to. Yeah, and she's uh, a smart woman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I'm lucky to really have a good wife. Yeah. And uh, we have been together 37 years. So. For me, saving money 
is fun. Yeah. For most people, their spending money is fun. But to me, saving it is as much fun or maybe more than. Yeah. So talk a little bit about um, just opportunity in general and different times where it may, it may have looked tough, but you persevered through that and got to where you are. When I came here, I worked hard. I knew education is very, very important for me. Uh, therefore, I gave it all. I studied all the time. I remember one time I was studying at the library. It was the basement of Baylor University. The library closed at 11 o'clock on Saturday night. I just didn't know the light was off and on because I was concentrating and studying and they closed the library. I was just there and I have to get somebody to let me out. See, therefore, I always worked hard. I had to go and I accomplished every day working toward my goal. I advise the young people take education very, very serious because that's the best investment in your life. Uh, when you become a businessman, you need that background to just help you go forward. Uh, and then when you become a businessman, you don't need to have a lot of money. Uh, just plan every day. Just work hard. If you don't have passion, if you don't watch over your money, you can make it. For me, I had a vision. Yeah. I knew exactly what I am doing, but my family member or a friend, they laughed at me. But it came to the point they were not laughing at me anymore. They were asking how I can help them. Yeah. I had the passion. I was looking at success. I didn't want to fall. And that just drove me. Every day, I have a goal, and I pursue my goal. I want to accomplish every day toward my goal. Uh, my advice is, uh, you set your goal, don't think too much about it, just go for it. Yeah, so uh, just take steps every day to get to it. Exactly, you yes. see some people, they say, well, I want to become a millionaire. Yeah. See, I never thought about that. See, uh, my goal was to be successful. If the money comes with it, I work on it. See, some people, they want to become very in their show bad. They miss the opportunity. So they're, they're so focused on up here that they miss every step to get there. Exactly. But I want to tell you, this country is a land of opportunity. Anybody can make it if they concentrate and work hard. That, that is really my legacy. All right, well, thank you for being here with us today. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Good, thank you.